another Whoa! Wednesday with me, Mr. Goody Graham. I cannot thank you enough for spending your Wednesday with me, where we are going to go ahead and review different words of the week. So buckle up, Grammar Goodies. In fact, let's go ahead and do a quick preview of tonight's festivities. We'll go ahead and get things started with a basket breaker. Followed up by drinking up some radioactive waste, where we'll learn all about the different words of the week. Then, we'll go ahead and practice each word by asking for some employee assistance. But hold up, Grammar Goodies. I just couldn't leave it at that. We'll go ahead and do an aisle check to quiz your knowledge of each word. Then, we'll go over the Grammar Goody Sentence Shoutout of the Week. Did you get it? Did I get it? Stick around to find out. And then finally, we'll check out for the evening where you'll be free to go. Well, I'm actually feeling quite destructive right now, so let's go ahead and do a basket breaker. Uh-oh. Uh this week's basket breaker question is, what is the funniest joke you've heard? What joke made you go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Take a second, and then write it in the comment section. Who? the biggest joke. <laughs> anyway, all that sobbing and that existential crisis has me quite parched. So I think it's time that we drink up some radioactive waste. Three, two, one. For this lesson's essential question, we have, how can one properly use each word of the week? Huh? Well, by the end of this giant, gorgeous, gargantuan lesson, you'll be able to actually answer this. And what words are we going over? Great question, voice in the back of my head. We're going to go over the words, uh -huh, obscure. Laughing stock uh -huh. and audacity. So stick around as we go through each one of these words. Let's start off by going over the first one. It's the word obscure. As defined, obscure is an adjective that means not clearly understood or expressed. In fact, it means not discovered or known about. It's very abstract. In fact, some synonyms for the word obscure are uncertain and unclear, nebulous in fact. Let's go ahead and see how obscure is used in a sentence. That painting is very obscure. So, I do not think I understand its meaning. It's so ill-defined, abstract, that uh, maybe the meaning isn't as clear. So, that's the word obscure. Let's see how it's used in another sentence. This is a very obscure and poorly planned event with no set theme. Again, you're seeing that it's a very undefined and poorly planned event. What makes you go crazy? So that's obscure. Think you have it down? I know you do grammar goodies. So let's go ahead and practice it. Go ahead and use the word obscure in an original sentence. Think you could do that? Use the word obscure in an original sentence? I know you can. And get to it. incredible 
sentence, grammar goodies. In fact, let's go ahead and move on. We have the second word, laughing stock. <laughs> oh. Well, laughing stock is a noun meaning a person subjected to general mockery or ridicule. I wonder who that could be, huh? In fact, some synonyms for laughing stock are fool, dupe, and figure of fun. <laughs> Let's see how laughing stock is used in a few sentences. Here it is, used in a sentence. He ripped his pants in public, so he is the new laughing stock of the town. <laughs> you ripped your pants. I've done it before too. This example is actually about me. Aww. Anyway, let's move on. I am weird, so I'm the laughing stock of my friend group. <laughs> I just try and beat the jokester. So that's the word laughing stock. Think you have that down? Let's go ahead and practice. Use the word laughing stock in an original sentence. Think you could do that? Use laughing stock in an original sentence? I know you can. And get to it! Whoa! Hopefully you have some saucy sentences that make me go, whoa! And with that in mind, let's go ahead and move on to our third word. It's the word audacity. Whoa. As defined, audacity is a noun meaning rude or disrespectful behavior and impudence. In fact, some synonyms for the word audacity are boldness, fearlessness, and brashness. Whoa. Let's see how audacity is used in a few sentences. Sentence. He had the audacity to ask me for $20 after he lost my wallet. Whoa. So he had the nerve, the audacity. Let's go on to another example. Example. He is so wild and had the audacity to confront me about <gasps> useless drama. Whoa. So once again, we're seeing audacity used as boldness, nerve, brashness. So that's the word audacity. Hmm? Think you have it down? <laughs> I know you do. So let's go ahead and practice. Here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and use the word audacity in an original sentence. What are you waiting for? Get to it. So let's go ahead and ask for some employee assistance. Oh, so much grammar. My head's gonna explode. I don't know what to do. I need help. We need some employee assistance. For this section, here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to read various sentences. Each sentence has a blank in it. You need to decide whether to fill in that blank with obscure, audacity, or laughing stock. Again, fill in the blanks. Let's get it started. Example, a jester is usually the blank of the kingdom. Are you going to fill in the sentence with laughing stock, obscure, or audacity? Take a second, think about it. All right, what'd you get, grammar goodies? Here's the answer. The answer.
answer is laughing stock. A jester is the laughing stock of the kingdom. So laughing stock is the answer. Let's move on. Example, the jester's jokes were blank, so no one understood them. Are we filling in the blank with laughing stock, obscure, or audacity? Take a second, think about it. Jester's jokes were obscure, so no one understood them. So obscure is the correct answer. Let's move on. Example. The jester had the blank to insult the king in his latest comedy routine. Ah, bad idea. Are we filling this in with laughing stock? Obscure? or audacity. Take a second, think about it. All right, the correct answer is audacity. The jester had the audacity to insult the king in his latest comedy routine. Hmm, bad idea. Whoa, think you have it down, grammar goodies? I know you do. So let's go ahead and put that to the test by doing an app check. Pop, pop. For this week's app check, here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to read an epic sentence to you that has three blanks in it. You need to fill in the blanks with obscure, audacity, and laughing stock, but you cannot repeat the words. Again, fill in the blanks. The sentence is, the comedian is the blank of the town, for the townspeople dislike his unhinged blank and blank jokes. Go ahead and fill in the blanks, whoa! are the comedian is the laughing stock of the town for the townspeople dislike his unhinged audacity and obscure jokes whoa did you get all three hopefully so great job grammar goodies and with that in mind i think it's time for us to start checking out for the evening Now, it's the time you've all been waiting for. It's time for the Grammar Goodies Sentence Shoutout of the Week! <laughs> the Grammar Goodies Sentence Shoutout of the Week goes to an individual or individuals that participate in the comments section on any of our videos and social media platforms. Did you get it? Did I get it? Did my cat get it? Let's find out. Drum roll, please! The Grammar Goodies Sentence Shoutout of the H with all seven, three, nine, eight. Yeah, you did it. Their sentences, their disdain for each other was driving him crazy. Great use of the word disdain, which is dislike, disharmony. Woo, so incredible job. You got the Grammar Goody Sentence shout out of the week. And again, if you would like the Grammar Goody Sentence shout out of the week, make sure to participate. What are you waiting for? Speaking of waiting for things, you don't have to wait because a new word of the week comes out every Sunday. And let's not forget every Wednesday, we have, whoa, 
Wednesdays. In addition to that, content episodes come out every other Friday. And <clears throat> daily YouTube shorts, as well as sentence shoutouts. And what do you want me to teach you? Make sure to put that into the comment section. Also, you can find us on any of our social media platforms, including TikTok. Whoa! And without further ado, I think it's time for you to fly away for the evening, Grammar Goodies. Anyway, my name is Mr. Goody Grammar. Thank you so much for sharing your Wednesday with me at General Grammar. And come in anytime. I'll see ya. Whoa! What are you still doing here? Don't you know that the episode is over? What? Okay, okay. I get it. I mean, I, I know you love grammar. So why don't you hit like on this video? In fact, share it and do a little comment. But mainly, subscribe. Why haven't you subscribed yet? In fact, if you don't subscribe, you could be pulled into an interdimensional vortex. <gasps> so, make sure to subscribe. Remember, general grammar is tons of fun. What are you waiting for? Whoa! Click on another video. <laughs>